Hey everybody, today we're making jambalaya. So before we get cooking for a full list of ingredients, uh, check out the comment section below. Um, but to get started, what we're using first is canola oil, and dewy sausage or any type of smoked pork, bay leaves, dried thyme, minced garlic, onion, celery, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, rice, preferably parboiled rice, tomato paste, water, chicken base, green bell pepper, hot sauce, salt, and cayenne pepper. Okay, so we're gonna start by dicing up our vegetables. This is a simple yellow onion. On the non-root end, we're gonna cut this off. Toss, we're gonna cut that in half. We remove the outer peel. And then, hands like claws, we're gonna go down, 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 all the way down. And we go in. And that is how you dice an onion. So, to dice a bell pepper, you cut the top off, you go down the sides, you get that bottom out. Bye bye. This is not fancy pants cooking. I don't you expect perfect cubes, but you know, if everything's relatively the same size, then everything will cook at the same rate so that everything has the same consistency when you're done. All right, that is how you chop up a pepper. Okay, so I have a celery heart here that I rinse. I'm gonna take that bottom part off. If you were using a whole celery, I would maybe use maybe four or five full stalks. And I'm just gonna go down the middle of the rib. And then you cut down. All right. Good enough. For our boneless, skinless chicken thighs, I have some already diced, but I wanted to show you. You can buy them in the store like this. Our, the bone and the skin are already taken off, and it's very easy. You want, I would do go one inch cube. It might seem like a little more than a mouthful, but it is gonna cook down and shrink. There you go. So andouille sausage, it is a smoked pork sausage, heavily seasoned, salt, pepper, cayenne, all that good stuff. And another thing that characterizes andouille sausage is that the, uh, the meat is a coarser grind. So it's not really fine, like say like a breakfast sausage. You actually get like a meaty bite to it. And what I did here is I cut it in half and then I cut it in half again. And then I'm doing cubes. You could also um, just do half moon slices, like wh whatever floats your boat. The, uh, the sausage is already uh, pre-cooked. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, now that we have everything prepped, we're gonna move over to the stove. I got my nice big pot here. Everything's gonna get cooked all in one pot. So we got our flame going on. We're gonna add two to three tablespoons of canola oil. And I always start with, if, I'm, if there's some pork in one of my dishes, I almost always start by rendering that a little bit. And then while that's getting started, I'll go ahead and add my two bay leaves. 
just there for flavor. And then we're gonna go a nice fat tablespoon of dried thyme. So let that go for a little while. Let it render brown a little bit. And then we're gonna start um, adding our holy trinity. You see how this is um, browning a little bit here? And the oil is taking on some of that spicy seasoning. You can see how it's turned red. We're gonna add the beginnings of our Holy Trinity, which is a one large diced yellow onion. Let that go a minute, let it sweat out, get all, let all those flavors come together. I'm gonna add second member of the Holy Trinity, our diced celery. Again, let this go for a minute. And whenever I'm cooking, especially these kind of like lower, slower type dishes like gumbo, etouffee, jambalaya, I always add my bell pepper closer to the end. Just because bell pepper, it has a lot more water in it. Um, I don't want it to disintegrate and disappear before the dish is done because I like to see my bell pepper as well as taste it. Now next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add equal amounts of chopped chicken thigh to um, andouille sausage. Okay, now we're gonna put in about three tablespoons of minced garlic. We're gonna cook this until the chicken is cut about halfway. So I'm gonna low this down a little bit. I'm gonna add our parboiled rice, so three cups. And we're actually gonna stir the rice into this. This is how you make a classic pilaf. And we're gonna get all the rice, each rice grain covered in all of that goodness, all that flavor. What distinguishes our jambalaya from a lot, we add tomato paste. And I'm using about three quarters cup of tomato paste. And I'm actually gonna cook the tomato paste into this so that canned raw tomato paste is cooked out. The next step is we're gonna add our chicken broth and uh, I'm gonna let you in on a big secret. We do not roll stocks here at Brenda's. We've never had the space or the capacity to do that. So from day one, I've been using this handy chicken base that you can buy at your grocery store in the soup aisle. For the recipe, we're gonna use three quarter, one and a half cups of water. And to that, I'm adding two fat spoonfuls of our chicken base. And I'm gonna stir that up. And then this is gonna be our broth that goes into the pilaf. Come on, chicken broth. Slow this down, give it a stir, get that all incorporated. We're gonna now add our bell peppers. This is uh, two diced bell peppers. These are gonna get off, give off a lot of liquid and that's gonna add to the liquid that the rice is gonna steep in. We got our bell peppers in there this might seem a little crazy, y'all, but I'm actually, uh, I love cooking with hot sauce, not just using it as a condiment. My favorite brand by far is Crystal. It's, uh, the, it's not too acidic, but it has a nice body to it. Um, and I, I find myself cooking with it more than I actually use it as a condiment. Um, and we're gonna add this whole bottle.
<laughs> I don't know if there's something really satisfying about dumping an entire bottle of hot sauce into a pot of something. I know this seems crazy, but you just have to trust me. If you are afraid of what I'm doing, then stop. But I'm not stopping because I'm, I know how I like it and I'm, I, I want the whole bottle. If you've eaten at my restaurant, this is how much hot sauce we use. So it's, it's just something that you should just be aware of. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. <laughs> okay. Take a little spoon and you're actually gonna dip it in here and you're gonna give it a little taste. And what you're tasting for is whether or not you're gonna want more salt, more pepper, believe it or not, and or cayenne. Um, and this is one of those chefy things that I, I'm, I don't know how to impart via video, but I know once this rice blooms out and I want a fully seasoned dish, I, I'm gonna wanna put a little more salt in here. I'll, this will be included in the description down below, but I added another tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna add a nice teaspoon and a half of black pepper. And then I'm gonna go another teaspoon and a half of cayenne. All right, so we got all that mixed in together. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna lower the flame and we're gonna put a lid on this. Okay, y'all, look, we've been steaming over a low flame, and I mean low, low, for 20 minutes. I kept the lid on the whole time. Don't sneak a peek, because you're going to interrupt the process. Don't do that. And here we are. Ooh. And I'm going to serve some up for myself. I should probably turn the flame off. So, chicken and dewey jambalaya. I like it spicy. I don't, I'm not like crazy blow your head off, but it, you know, it depends on you. I always like a little oniony crunch at the end, so I'm a big fan of the scallion. Um, I'm gonna give this a taste. Are you going to get all those ums out? Because I don't know how to not say um. So let's get started. I, 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 um, oop, shit, my water's in the shot. I can't not say um. I'll never have a life in politics. <laughs> 